Okay, so I want to take just a moment and talk to you about the Digital Music One. I've been getting a lot of students turn work in and their songs are, are all over the place. And, and visually, even before I listen to the song, I can tell kind of how organized a song is. Music is beautifully organized. Okay, so one of the th things that I follow, now here's just a sample of a song I did. It's not going to sound that great when I play it because it's my speakers playing out of my, my MacBook that's coming into the little microphone and you got the big echo of the room right now because I'm not using a professional microphone. So uh, but bear in mind, but I can tell or I can see in my own song here, you want to work in multiples of two. So you can see I start off with this introduction of just the beat for two measures. Then I have four measures of, of a little chip beat going on here. Then I break into four measures of another part of the song. Then back to this. So see, this is repeating this. Okay, do you see that? And then this is a repeat of this. So that the song flows. Songs have verses and choruses that repeat. So this is kind of verse one, verse two, chorus one, chorus two, and then we go to verse three and chorus three, and then I take a little break here, a bridge of just something different, something unique. So notice I, the beat, this whole beat stays throughout the whole song up here at the top, and that keeps continuity except for the bridge. I change it up and I go to a different beat, and then I go back to this beat for the final part of the song. So when you're building your song, if it doesn't look visually like you have blocks that repeat and there's blocks and multiples of, of two, then it's not going to sound all that pleasing. So part of it is getting great sounds to sound together really nice. And then part of it is making sure your music is organized. So let's just get a listen to it here. And so here's my intro, just a two measure intro. So two, and it starts into my first verse. There's just this nice little chip beat going on top of it. It's something easy, something to tap your, your foot to, and then I get into the chorus. And notice that beat stays the same in the background. That's what keeps it the same song. So we go through it. Now we're going to go to verse 2, which is just a repeat then. If someone was singing on top of this, that would make it familiar, because you go back to what they have uh, when they're doing it. And then back into the chorus. So you get that. Now let's go over to the bridge. And let me listen to that. Okay, so we're just coming out of a chorus here into the bridge. Here it goes. Now it's, it's an 80s song, so it's got a little bit of Stranger Thing feel to it. Yeah. And once this bridge is ended, then it's going to go back into the final verse before it ends. Then back to our song. Okay, I hope this little training video helps you out. But you should be able to scroll through your song and it should look organized like this and not just little bits and pieces that are start and stopping. Like if, if this was just over here in the middle of here and then this, I had this just like here and this, you know, like that's not even starting at the beginning of a measure. Like these are the different measures in your song and they should start on those light gray lines and be multiples of two. So this is for four measures, this is for four measures, intro was for two measures. Okay, so anyhow, there it is. Good luck with it. Have fun.